Welcome back to Sister Circle Live from BET's College Hill to VH1's Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Our next guest reminds us of everyone's over the top friend, but he's also known for keeping it so real and sometimes serving up some good old shade. Please welcome <laughs> Mr. Ray Cunningham. Well, thank welcome you. to the show. Thank you for having me. I love this shirt. Thank you. I was trying to make sure I stayed with the season. Yes. You are. No, we don't get the seasons in LA. Right. So I know you get the seasons here. here. Mm -hmm. And we got to shout out your mom because she watches the show. Yeah, shout out to mom. Mama, I know you're watching at home, Mom. <laughs> yes, good, good. Now, we got to get into your little business real oh, quick. Oh, Lord. Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Now, yes. would you consider yourself to be the instigator or the mediator friend? I'm a good mixture of both. Yes. You got to have both. You got to stir it up, and then you also have to blow it out and you right. know, try to keep it calm, too. Right. So, so <laughs> do you and your castmates, are things going to get better throughout the rest of the season? Oh, no. It gets it gets way more juicy. We actually have like a three-part reunion coming up. It's that Really? Intense. Three parts? Yeah, we shot it here in Atlanta, Tyler yeah. Perry Studios. So. so what's been the greatest thing with you being on the show? And then the thing that you, like, dislike I, the most? I love the one thing that's really random about being on Love & Hip Hop, everybody watches it. I mean, oh, little old white ladies, yes. little Asian ladies, they come up to me, Target, Walmart, the grocery store. Oh my God, I love that. Don't let that boy talk to you and touch you no more. Like, right. And I'm like, y'all watch this? Yes. Um, and my grandmother watches it. And my nephew watches it. So I realized I had to tone it down a little bit when he was like, Ray, Uncle Ray, Ray, why are you throwing juice? And right. Like, oh, what it is wasn't the juice, baby. Right, right. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't say there's nothing I don't like about being on the show. We sign up for this show. We yeah. give all of our lives on there. And right. we have to take what comes with it, whether it's the jokes online or people not agreeing with some of the decisions we make right. on air, so yeah. it's fun. I love it. Right, right, right. So what's mm -hmm. the thing that you dislike? Ooh, when they make it seem like we just purposely invited someone we don't like to something we're doing. Right. You know I wouldn't send you no invite, girl. Right. But this is a show. We okay. got a contract. We're going to do this. We're going to do it. We're going to talk at my party. Right. Good, good. Right. Well, <laughs> well, one thing that you haven't been shy about talking about is is hair loss. Yeah. And you posted on your Instagram and it got so much response. Were mm -hmm. you surprised by the response? I was very surprised because, I mean, who wants to wake up in the morning with no eyelashes, no edges, right. no hair, still got to go to work mm -hmm. on national TV? Right. And I was trying my best to cover. I was wearing hats. I was wearing hoodies. I mean, I was doing everything you could think of to kind of disguise it. But as you watch the show, I went from having a beard to no beard, right. hair to no hair, you know, lashes, no lashes. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and say this before somebody tries to make a joke of it. Because right. people was like, what's wrong with him? Does he have leukemia? Does he got cancer? Mm -hmm. Is he sick? Something wrong? Ain't nothing wrong. He's got no edges. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but it's a lot of 35 million people suffer from hair loss. I was so surprised. Yeah. People were DMing me from all over the world. Like, my mom has it, my dad had it, my coworker had it, my right. sibling had it. I didn't realize it was a widely discussed it was, it's not discussed like that. Right. And I didn't know that many people suffer So people with are it. suffering in silence. Mm hmm But not anymore. You no. have partnered with Vitalize. Tell us about your partnership and how it has changed your life. Well, some of everybody reached out. I want to say thank you to everyone who reached out to me. Um, but they actually reached out to me um, through a, a recommendation of a friend. Mm -hmm. And I said, let me try this out. Right. And I immediately started seeing a little hair here, a little hair there, a little hair there. I was right. like, okay, this could work. Let me rub some more of this in. And I, I've been using it. And um, I can show you guys a little bit of oh, it. Oh, wow. But it's been growing. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That's a month. Yes. That's a whole month. So by Christmas, I'll have edges. You'll have edges. <laughs> but I'm loving how you're approaching this. You're, yeah. not like, you're not like scared to talk about it. You're like really just I opening up your story. I was nervous at first because I've always had a full beard, a full set of hair. Right. I mean, my grandmother is 90 years old and she has a full head of hair. Yeah. But, so it doesn't run in our family. So we didn't know where it came from. You know, we, you know, like typical black families, we were trying to diagnose it ourselves. Right. It's stress. Mm -hmm. It's that ex-boyfriend of yours. Right. It's all that. No, it's, you know, it happens to a lot of people. Right. And so they give me these products. So I've been using the conditioner and the shampoo. Mm -hmm. um, the best thing is the gummies. Really? I'm only supposed to have two a day, but I eat three sometimes. Oh, no, because you're trying to get the hair to whip it. <laughs> I want to grow. I want Go with the day. recommendation. I want a beard today. Right, right. You know? But not only has it been working for you, it's been working for lots of people. A lot of people, yeah. I see. A lot of people have been working for um, the before and after pictures are amazing. Because mm -hmm. you see on Instagram, it's a lot of these companies that, you know, just put out product and you oh, it's going to grow my hair. Right, look my at hair this. Back. Wow, that's good. Look at that. Yeah. And it really does work. And it's looking like... I this is, it's outstanding. Come yeah. on, Vitalize. <laughs> right, right. So what advice would you give to men and women who may be going through this hair loss journey? Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to them? I would definitely tell them to own that moment because mm -hmm. we're still alive, we're, we're healthy, nothing's wrong with us. I mean, whether you have hair or not, you're still a beautiful person inside and out. Yes. And you shouldn't live 
behind the camera. I say get in front of it. Whether it's your own taking a selfie or being in front of the television. Right. You have to own your moment and still be who you are. Because with, with, with or without here, your, your personality is still going to shine. Absolutely. Today. Talking about own your moment, what yes. is next for you, Mr. Ray? Like, what, mm. what, what'll be, what's the end all be all for you? The end all, I don't know what my end all be all. I would love to have my own talk show. Hey! So if y'all want to co-host, I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Mona. Right. Okay. Uh no, um, won't, Love & Hip Hop won't be forever. I know right. that. I'm going to have some other businesses. I'm working on my social status PR company. Okay, good. And I'm actually going to be doing an HBCU themed Monopoly game that I'm working on right I now. I so love it. Giving back to the HBCU community. So I'm excited about good, that. Good, good. We're excited about your partnership with Vitalize. I think Thank it's you. very vital that you do yes, that. And yes. you're a great spokesperson for Get that. Get your edges back. Get your edges back. We thank you so much. Continue thank success you so on much. everything. I think you made your mama proud today. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. You can keep up with Mr. Ray's journey, his hair growth, re regrowth journey, and learn more about Vitalize Hair Products by visiting their website at www.thinedges.com or call 800-800-7577. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms.